Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. As I do. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you might have noticed or you might have seen that um, I put out a Call of the Wild uh, video yesterday, a Hunter Call of the Wild video, and I'd love it if you'd give it a watch. Uh, check it out. Uh, it's a great game. Um, you know, I did that because I, you know, just to keep myself fresh for this game, you know, I do get stale playing, you know, uh, the same game uh, all the time. So I needed, I just needed a little break. Uh, we're back to Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 right here, uh, right now. Um, but anyway, back to that uh, Hunter Call of the Wild video, it got uh, a surprising responses, um, um, very positive, uh, 3,500 views. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If, um, if that gets to 10,000 views, um, I'll do a giveaway. Um, if you don't have the for people who do not have the game, uh, if you have the game, uh, please don't enter um, Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, but you need to comment on that video um, and just comment the word uh, gift. And um, I will pick, I will randomly uh, uh, pick a winner out of that. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll do two winners out of it. And I will gift you um, the uh, the sixty dollar version of that game, Hunter Call of the Wild, if it hits ten thousand views. Um, uh, unfortunately, um, I cannot um, gift it to anybody outside of the United States for some tax reasons or something. I've tried before. I've tried to gift. Um, um, games or, or, or um, DLCs to friends of mine in England and they can't receive it so uh, if you know how to do that I, I think maybe if you're playing on an American server and you're not in the United States or outside of the United States um, um, maybe you can I can do it that way I don't know if anybody knows how to do that how I can gift to someone in Europe or South America Africa, Asia, um, um, let me know, uh, but, but I, I don't think I can't, as of right now, I don't think I can, but what I'll do is I'll give away two, uh, two versions of Hunter Call of the Wild, just uh, on that video, uh, comment gift, please, and then you can comment whatever else you want to, um, that's fine, and I will pick two randomly out of that. Uh, and I will gift you the game if you wish. Uh, and not to leave out the people who have the game. Now, now you can get the game on Game Pass. If you have um, Game Pass, um, you, can, you can get the game. Uh, but if you want to own your own version of it, uh, the $60, $60 version of it, um, go ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead and type gift uh, over there in the comments on that video. Uh, for those who have the game... Um, I don't want to leave you out. If you, if there's a DLC that you want and don't have, uh, type in gift DLC, you know, and tell me what DLC you would like, and I'll give out um, several of those. Those are only like, uh, typically they're right around four dollars. Um, so I don't want to leave out people who who have uh, Hunter Call of the Wild and want to try that. Uh, this is just the. Uh, a way for me to thank the Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 community uh, for all the wonderful, wonderful um, support and things you've done. Um, I, 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 I love this community, man. And it, so it's a way to give back a little bit. And um, let's see, if I don't want, want to leave any details out on that. Um, so if it hits 10,000, I will gift two of the $60 version of Hunter Call of the Wild. I will randomly select it from the comments. You have to comment on that video. Uh, if you want a DLC, if there's a DLC, if you have the game and you don't have a DLC and there's one you want, say gift DLC and tell me which one. And I'll, I'll pick, um, oh, let's say... Let's say I'll uh, I can gift say five of those, okay? So we'll go five five DLC winners, uh, two um, sixty dollar versions of the game winners, um, and unfortunately um, you have to 
uh, be in the United States for that. So let's get back to Red Dead Redemption 2, this fantastic, this, this mind-blowing game. Um, I don't know where we left off. So let me get my big head out of here. And uh, we will uh, I will check in on Arthur. I don't even remember where I left off, you know. Uh, it's an old people's disease, you know. Uh, I, 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 I stay away for 24, I forget what happened 24 hours ago. So uh, let's check in on Arthur. And I don't have a plan because I need to see where I left off. Bang. And, um, and uh, we'll take a look at it. And we'll see. You know, there are so many. This game is just, oh, man, it is just mind-boggling um, how big it is. Um, there are so many things that I want to do that, that that we haven't done. You know, um, progressing the story, of course, is, um, is, you know, very important. I understand that. However... Uh, I mean, we met a guy, it, just a couple of examples. We met a guy that was dressed uh, in clothes that looked like he was from another time, like a time ahead of of this time, 1899, like uh, hinting that he may have come from the future using terminology and words that uh, Arthur wasn't familiar with, some slang, you know, from from like the future, uh, hinting, and he, and he gave us a, uh, uh, a, a map or something of a bunch. Where are we here? Where are we at? Hey, Arthur. Long time no see, Bubba. Uh, looky here. We're in Roads of Valentine. Where are we? Map. Looks like Valentine. Yes. We are in Valentine. What do we have? What are our options? Um... Um, game um, uh, story progressing wise, we have Albert again. What is he taking pictures of this time? He's pointing up at the sky. Are we taking pictures of birds? Last time it was alligators. Um, okay. Um, and what else do we have on the map? We still have, oh yeah, our artist friend over here, Charles. Uh, and we have, what do we have down here? Um, bounty hunting for, uh, Camille de Mimo. Dead or alive. $55. That's a high bounty, man. A lot of them are like 25 bucks. So he must be a tough one. Um, and it looks like that's it. So back to what I was saying, though. Oh, 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 oh. We haven't been to camp in a long time. Maybe we should go to camp. Um, and we have another one with Dutch. Oh, that last one with Dutch. Dutch needs to speak to you. And he's carrying somebody out of a swamp, and there is a monster alligator on his butt. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That last one with Dutch, the Robin the Trolley, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That's one I'd like to do again. I'd play again because that was fun. But back to what I was saying about um, all the all the ways. Uh, oops, get rid of that. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that either. Um, to play, I mean, so I mean, you could spend God knows how many hours trying to find these etchings that this guy who appears to be from the future, which is an interesting. Uh, thing to throw in a game like this uh i mean you could spend god knows how many hours it looks like all the etchings are on um cliff sides or or in the mountains so i mean you could spend hours just doing that and trying to piece together uh that puzzle we also have that guy that i call the chainsaw massacre guy uh who is just um uh, brutally uh, murdered, murdering people, you know, chopping them up, and just bloody, bloody mess. And we we've gotten two of the clues. We need to get the third one uh, for that. Uh, we've got, you know, we've got a map for legendary fish. We have a map for where all the legendary animals are. Um, and then 
and all the benefits from doing that as far as improving your gear or getting different gear, getting all the different kinds of uh, gear um, and, and outfits. I mean, there's so much. Uh, plus the horses, you know, the rare horses that you can tame and get. And I do want to go back up. People have told me that even though I lost my prize possession, uh, Kaylee Bell, and I, we found her um, right up over here. Uh, and she got killed in that ambush. Um, I and, and people say, well, you can go back up there and get another one. That she respawns. So that's some. All of that, it's so rich. This game is so rich. It is so deep. I mean, I haven't even... I know that the edge of the map is here, but there's a road here that I wanted to uncover and didn't. There's a couple other places that are, are not completely uncovered way up north. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, like I say, the legendary fishing, the, which we've done a little bit of, we've got three, I think we have the legendary animals. We've, we've made some progress on that. There's so much that I just don't know, but we haven't been to camp in a long, long time. Um, so I'll head for camp and, um, that picture intrigues me actually. Arthur carrying a body out of the swamp or across a river being chased by an alligator. Shady Bell Bayou. Huh. Okay. So I think maybe we'll um we'll head for there. Uh in the meantime, is he still fat? <laughs> Is he still fat? He's still fat. Oh, I overfed him. He's overweight. <laughs> his honor is where? Where's his honor? Uh, it doesn't. Uh, oh, his honor has dropped a little bit. It was. I was getting a 25% discount in the stores. Now I'm only getting 10%. So we need to work on that. Uh, get his honor back up there. I, I like the game better with him at uh, high honor. <laughs> I don't know how to get him to lose weight. I guess we just starve him, man. I don't know. And we picked up some more trinkets. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, what's this, Arthur? With, look at this beard on him. Uh, that's another thing. I mean, we could do that. We could just let him. It doesn't uh, overweight overweight he's level eight i don't know how high he goes oh eight of eight maximum stamina eight of eight so he's reached peak stamina how about dead eye uh, uh core drain 100 percent, 87 minutes 100 percent. um um your dead eye attribute determines how long you can activate your dead eyes okay and um still overweight <laughs> I'm not real sure if we can, um, his, oh, it's eight of eight. So his, his dead eye is maxed. I'm sure his stamina will say the same. His stamina is maxed. So we, we've, we've maxed him out eight, level eight of eight. Oh no, progression to next level. We've exceeded it. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess he's max, he maxes out at level 8. I don't know. Um, all right, man. Smoke him if you got him. And, hey, Star. Oh, there it is. There's my honor. Yeah, it dropped. Uh, it is 6.16 in the morning. You're not going to eat breakfast, buddy. You're on a diet. No breakfast. Nope, nope. We could give him a shave. Um, he had a bath when I put him down last. That's where, where I left off. But um, let me take a quick break here. So uh, y'all can do the same. Uh, smoke them if you got them. I will see you. I'll be right back at you in about six minutes. All right, man. Let's ride. Let's get. Come on, girl. Good old star. Um, I'm, I'm just, I was just thinking about all the, um, 
the uh, side stuff that there is to do in this vet. Um, uh, let's start hey, doing people. Let's get that owner back up. <laughs> as soon as I say that, some idiot's gonna run in front of me, my Jesus, horse. Jesus, haven't seen anything this pathetic outside a dime discount cat house. Hey, Bubba, you gonna pick a fight with me? Should I pick a fight now, with sir, you? Sir, if you're welcome in this bird, now I see you. You sure got a face for punching, traveler. Oh, yes. Well, look out. We got a tough guy. Uh, <laughs> Alert! <laughs> he got pixel whipped. Just pixel whip your butt and get nothing. Oh, I got a belt. Looting! Oh, for crying out loud. So much for the honor thing, eh? Crime reported. So if I, <laughs> I should have gone back and uh, dealt with the witness. Well, you know, so much for the honor. He didn't get a good look at me. Did he? Okay, the honor, the uh, wanted went away. Easy. Ah, uh, where's Valentine? Okay, we're good. Oh, we could we could cruise over here and see what Albert wants. I mean, we're real close to him. Ah, uh, let's see what he wants. I mean, we're so close to him. Doesn't make sense not to, right? I mean, it makes sense. To do it. get up, come on, buttons. Me and the buttons on this game, drive man. We are not a good combination. Me and buttons. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Oh man, we could go by our old yeah. uh, stomping grounds. This was our first camp. Eric was right down in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It sure was. Let's go see what old Albert is up to. Let's um. Um, let's feed the horse. There you go, Sugar. I mean, Star. This is Star. Sugar was the um, alias for um, Kelly Bell. Because the game. Do we need to maintain this after that? I did, after that, all that shooting we did, uh, it doesn't look too bad, but we'll go ahead. Um, that, that was a that was a fun one, the trolley. That was a lot of fun. And I believe we used our pistols quite a bit as well. Um, I don't think I've cleaned them since. Double action? What's that doing there? We've got the Schofield. we got Callaway's. Callaway's revolver is a little bit better than um, the Schofield. So we'll go with that. It's in pretty good shape, but we'll clean it. I don't know how much gun oil I have. If I have enough oil, we'll, we'll, we'll clean them all. But, you know, here we are. So why not? Okay. Now we should... Okay. We know. Yep. Is 
that gonna want to pick a fight? No, he's a sheep herder. I think we're okay on food that he's carrying with him. Is he up there on that ridge right over there? Looks like he is. We're getting semi ominous music, man. You hear that? Hey, Albert. Who better are we taking pictures of? I bet it's going to be birds. He was pointing up in the sky. Yeah, and there's an eagle, a couple of eagles flying by. Mr. Mason? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Morgan? You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here Katie before. Have you? Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. Uh -huh. you know, the images they really are the sky in the picture. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Uh -huh. It's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there. there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. Don't back this up, son. Quite Don't! Wait, wait. Oh, oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> you are right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Well, that was short and sweet. Is it over? Yeah, that was that. <laughs> we do have some smoke down yonder in the holler, down by the river. Is that gonna be a, if that's a Driscoll's, we will uh, make a house call. Looks like it could be. Uh, not just one camper. Um, do I want to take another side trip? Take a look at it. Well, these guys typically just don't want me around. They just say, hey, get away from me. You know, typically. American paint. One dude. Ah, uh, let's go. Let's go bother him. Let's go, girl. <laughs> I, I don't want to yeah. bother him. I won't be nice. Hey, buddy. Any greenery to pick around here? No. Oh, though, we caused a little rock slide. Ah. Uh, you got something fun and interesting for me, or are you just going to say, get out of here? Get your own camp. Okay. And we're far from here. All right. That's what I thought. Yeah. I don't need to, um, what the heck did I just run over? 
bushes to put pick or what? Unknown animal track. Did I kill it? It's a three star and I kicked it with the horse. <clears throat> um You all right, girl? What kind of saddle do I have on her? Is that that's not my bear saddle, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yep. It just look different. That well, was kind of a a strange thing there with Albert. Um. I mean, short. Oh, looky here, looky here, looky here. <laughs> How far are we from that? Um. Oh man, this is so stressful for me to to get these things. Uh. Let's give it a try. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, let's let's give yep. it a shot. It's so stressful for me. The buttons, you know. We have so much game around here. It's crazy. No, no. See the buttons again. I was trying to get the binoculars, and he took a, a thing. Come on. It is a three-star buck. We might need that pelt for something. Let's bring up the bolt action. How did that miss? I, I don't understand. Idiot. This game. <laughs> much about this game I don't get. Well, it's dying, which means we won't get the three-star pelt on it, right? I mean, we hit it, we just didn't drop it clean. Yeah, I dropped it to a two. Oh, wait a minute, that's not even the buck. I hit the wrong animal. Crap. Ah, now you're not going to eat it, son. Get in some road work and drop some of those pounds. Is that that, um, Wild mint. Ooh, wild mint is good. Um, that's that town where we got um, a gold bar. And some of you say that that uh, can reappear over time. Now, it's been a while. So I think we'll go take a look over there and see if that gold bar is back. Not that we need money. I don't think Arthur's going to need money ever again. Um, he is just rolling in the dough right now. Did we get all of it? We did. Another campfire way up on the ridge. A guy fishing. Let's yep. go take a look. Is this it? This is it, right? The, the burned out uh, town, little little village here. And that was in the um, where was that? Yeah, no, it was in the sheriff's office. What was.
this box. So some of y'all in the comments say this this reappears. A gold bar reappears. And it did! Well, thank you, comment section. Thank you, comment section. Not that, like I say, not that he needs it. I mean, but there you go. Um, let's see if there's anything going on in here again. Does not appear to be. Wow, well, well, well. Like I say, thank you, comment section. I'm gonna make him run. Come on. He's gotta burn calories, man. I suppose that's probably a waste of time to check all this other stuff. More wild mint. He can eat mint. That won't put pounds on him. Where else? More? one here too, right? Right? I thought there was. I guess I was wrong. Wrong about that. Yep. Arthur, you're just going to have to run everywhere from now on. You get that weight off you. Um... Yeah, we got him jumping. And this here is a river. So we need the river lure. Oh, man. I cannot believe I'm doing this. And we have the river lure on it, okay? Because <laughs> if you watched... Oh, wow, I got that out there really far. Um, you know my struggles with this. Well, you're on, my friend. I don't know oh, if it's. Oh, you are one fine fish, my friend. I don't know if it's the legend. It is a legendary pickerel. Who are you? Pickerel. Look out! We did it. Well, these little ones are easy, huh? I can't put you back. Okay. All right. So now we got to get to a post office. And mail this off to our friend. So rig station. Is there one closer to where we're where we're headed? It should be one in roads. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's just head over here and get that taken care of. Nice. Maybe I should just okay, um my girl. How far? How far we got? Um, that's a pretty good ride. Um, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah. I'm enjoying the ride. 
Uh, I might make camp up here though and fast travel to it because I don't want to have something happen to where we lose that thing on the way. But I do enjoy riding it. Brings back memories of when I had horses and could do this. I thought I saw like a white flash down there. Now here I am saying I, I need to not get killed and lose that pickerel. Yeah. I need to get that to the post office ASAP. And what do I do? What do I do? I thought I saw like a white flash um, you know, like, uh, like the, you know, it goes white when there's something going on. That's O'Driscoll's. You won't bet. Well, if that's O'Driscoll's, we're going to get him. Uh, what do we have? We have a semi-auto. We have the bolt action. Pump action. Give me the repeater. This is O'Driscoll's. They still got to pay for what they did to Kieran. see any human activity yeah this is going to be O'Driscoll's you won't bet I don't see one You know what would be great? If I have dynamite. Let's see if I have dynamite. I do. I have five dynamite arrows. <laughs> now they're all clustered together. If I can get in there, um, I might be able to get like three or four of them with one dynamite arrow. That's what I would like to do. Uh, got all kinds of oregano and stuff over here, but later. All right, I gotta get this in there. The crap behind the oregano. Damn it, my gun, I brought, I brought up the stinking, um, oh, you're a dumb old bunch, ain't you? I brought up the rope.
gun on. I gotta wait for the flames to die down. I wish I could, I wish I knew how many I got with that arrow, you know? My horse is spooked. Something's got star running off. Um, do they have more of them coming in? Sometimes more of them will come in after the fact. Did he just run through the fire and get hurt? Yeah, see my horse is... My horse is spooked about something. Don't step in the flames. I think I took down, um, it probably looks like maybe three of them with that shot. Look at this guy. He definitely got hit. Nice. Oh, that was quite satisfying. You know, it doesn't bring Kieran back. I think I blew all the loot up. Does that happen? Like, like does it does it blow up all the loot when you do that kind of thing? Oh, we got a card. Anything else? I don't see anything else worth picking up. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, look at that. That is, uh, that was good. That was just good. All right, where, where are we heading? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Wait a minute, there's one more to loot. Um, he might have something. Oh, <laughs> did I blow one all the way off the cliff? I did. I blew one all the way off the cliff. Where is he? He's down there somewhere. There he is. <laughs> right there. Got what you deserve. Yes, sir. Like I say, it doesn't bring Kieran back, but... Hey there, girl. Yep. Can she get down there? Easy, girl. Should have. Um, you know what? That was a three-star rabbit, and we need that for something. Um, but it took off. We'll, we'll go. I, I, I just. I'll go hunting later. Um, I've got to look at all all the different gear and stuff, and the requirements for it. Um, Just thinking right now. That's all. Um, <laughs> I know we need various uh, three-star um, critters. I'm pretty sure a rabbit was one of them. Yep. Uh -huh. 
probably a couple of rabbits. I can't remember. Let's uh, switch to the 22. Just in case. You're all right now, girl. Right there. Way up there. You will now remain a dead eye. Whatever. Okay, I don't know what level this was. I didn't get a I didn't get a look. It is three. Cool. Three of three perfect pelts collected for jackrabbits. Hunter two. Okay. Yep. Track 10 different animals species using your binoculars. Yep. Well, like I say, there is just so much, you know, so much. Wonderful. And it makes it um, a little difficult to balance, you know, for, for making a video series purposes. It makes it a little hard to balance the, um, you know, progressing the story. And all these other little things that you can spend hours doing that are very intriguing. Hey there! Uh, speaking of that, what's with the, the, the horse is acting like she needs a little help here. You're okay, girl. Uh, speaking of that, I want to see what my honor is. My honor should take a, a, a positive jump. Killing old Driscolls? No? Yeah. And, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to go all day without eating. And I do enjoy making camp and cooking. I do. I enjoy that. But bounty! Whoa! 90 dot. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ninety dollars for what? Ninety dollars? What the heck did I do in Rhodes? Well, it wasn't Rhodes. Oh, it was probably the trolley thing, right? We didn't. I thought we paid off the trolley thing. Are you kidding me? So if we get bounty hunters on us, and I gotta kill the bounty hunters, and then the uh, the the um, honor goes down even more. So let's make camp. Dag nabbit! I do not. If we did not start the day with a bounty, what have I done to get a ninety-dollar bounty in the last couple minutes? All I did was take down an O'Driscoll camp. Am I missing something here? <sighs> I don't know, man. Um, where do I want to go? Um, oh, shoot. I right, see now I'm all flustered. 
Um, now what? We got a stranger over here. And what's this? What What is a stranger? What is the stranger? Mr. Black and Mr. White. <laughs> well, sons, let me get let me get my own bounty off my head first. Um, uh, oh, God, sake that man buttons, man. I tell you, uh, the buttons on this game just drive me nuts. Uh, Rigs by Strawberry. It doesn't matter because we can just fast travel back down here. Um, yeah, Rigs. All right. I said, Craft Cook. He's got blood all over his hands from tearing the hide off of that rabbit. I know. I wanted to fast travel, y'all. Uh, that would be strawberry, right? Would be the closest to Riggs. Man, how'd I get a ninety-dollar bounty? I, I have to watch the video. I, we did not have a bounty when we started, and I don't know what I did to get a ninety-dollar bounty on me except take down those little Driscolls. Um, what I do? thing about San Denis, if you cannot run into people, uh, you can get your honor up by just saying hi to a million people. The problem is all those people over there like to bump into you and cause, you know, um, drama. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is the train stopped? That is highly suspicious. O'Driscoll's, oh, you want to bet? O'Driscoll's oh, robbing this train. L flashing? What is that? Oh crap, there was a there's a post office in Strawberry. No, that's a newspaper. Is that a post office in Strawberry? There is a post office in Strawberry. I just saw an HL flashing. Did we lose Mr. White and Mr. Black? They'll they'll come back. Okay. Mr. White and Mr. Black will come back. I didn't realize we were this close yep. to the station. That's why the train was there. $90. Howdy there. Welcome. Clear this ride up for you. 
I'll send word over to the folks in Lemoyne. We were not even in Lemoyne. How? What happened? I mean, really, what happened? Thanks. What happened to cause that? Understand. Girl. Does this guy work nights? Yeah. He does. Welcome back, sir. So, buy in or sell in. Okay, let's take a look at it. A satchel. Well, perfect grab it. I don't sell to stores. You want to know where it's right here's the one them. place to find them. With goose feathers. Rooster feathers. Um I'm selling him a couple. I, I don't know. Um the flight feathers I won't keep. I'd wager I can travel faster with this stall and tow than you or anyone can with nothing but a horse and a saddle. It's not about speed. It's about knowing the land. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Sure. That's enough. Um, as a garment set... Snakes and alligators. Dakota, Tall Trees, Big Valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skins. Huh. I just don't like that hat, but we can buy it. Legendary Ram hat. I've got the gloves on me. Um, I just don't like the hat, particularly. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. That's by it. There. What do you think? Oh, I don't particularly like it, sir, but I bought it. I'm just checking what we need here. Perfect ram. I have not seen a colored peccary pig. In this game, I wonder where they are. At least I don't think I have. Every one of my coyotes, black bears, wolves, moose. Now, I actually like that outfit right there. Um, I like that for for uh, cold weather. All right, cool. Thanks, mister. I'm at camp, and I'm not going to eat, Arthur. You're on a diet, bud. You are on a diet. You can't eat. You just can't. All right, man. 
Smoke them if you got them. I need a break. Man, I just realized I didn't, I didn't send that fish. Um, let's leave. Let's go get that fish. Not <laughs> nailed. Oh man, such a, such a uh, old old person. Um, I, no. Uh, me and buttons. Now, where the heck did I set camp up at? I thought I was up on the hill with the uh, trapper. Where the hell's the station? What? No, <laughs> it's back here. I was up there with the trapper, man. Yep. I was, I was up with the trapper. Okay, girl. This is house. I've been here. I boarded up. Where is it? I'm sure I've been here. right by the trapper am I gonna get wanted oh, there's nothing in it this there's nothing down here got a little root cellar down there what's that there's a door is there a door Looks like the door, but it is blocked by this fence, this fallen fence or rail. Huh. Well, let's get let's get this fish mail. Um, that is very strange. I mean, there's an open <coughs> uh, cellar. Very strange. Okay, then, girl. No people. Yep. Did it make my camp so far away? Not a bad looking horse. I'm Gary and half breed. Um, I don't know if I have. That's a good horse. Yep. Well, <laughs> let's get this done. Jeez Louise. Is this taking me to a different station? What am I doing? Where am I? There's rigs. It just, why does it look different? Um... Hello. Hello, mister. Oh, this is the um, the other building. 
No. Why does it look different? Why does this not look? Always nice to see a returning face. I uh, send mail. What you need to send? This. Hey, Bounty, I don't think I have Happy one. Happy to help yet. you start over. No, I don't have one, sir. Three of 13. Thanks, partner. I thought I, I thought I caught four. Pick roll. I didn't catch a legendary musky. I thought I did. It's a smallmouth bass. These things fight like crazy in real life. A smallmouth bass fights harder than a largemouth sometimes. A sockeye. Yeah, I got the steelhead. I got the bluegill. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. That's all correct. Don't step on the tracks. You'll get run over. Um, what were we doing? Well, oh, I was trying to get to camp. Shady Bell. And we lost those other white ones that came up. Weird. I'm just going to fast travel to camp. Oh, good. Is there more? Is, it, is this all ginseng? Tobacco. fast travel to camp see what Dutch is up to I don't, that uh, picture has got me intrigued we haven't been to camp in a long time Dutch in camp? He is. Well, here, let's do a chore. Over here. We can bring this over. Yeah, we haven't spoken to the the old gang in a long time. That's Dutch upstairs. Yippers. Arthur, come up here. 
Okay. Hey, Sadie. Long time, girl. Mrs. Adler. I ain't seen your face for a while. Had things to do. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Ah, uh, he ain't that bad. All right, Arthur. Where's the stairs? Stairs. Where's the stairs? There they are. What you got, Dutch? I got a pipe for you. You want your pipe? You're always asking me for that dang pipe every time I take a bath. You want a pipe. So, I think oh, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. Uh -huh. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Uh -huh. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes <laughs> into Tahiti. <laughs> Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Uh, Quit doubting, Arthur. Big it does differ, no sir. Come you on. ain't never been we right. We need to go see a man about a boat. People, it's ready. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Graf. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. What is up with Dutch? Just two of us? Hold. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up, and lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! 
I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I uh, know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, yes, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Um, uh... Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Come on, join Arthur right now. Have a smoke. Smoke them if you got them, boys. Girls. Man, I tell you, I'm... I'm with Jose on this one. I wish he sided with Jose on this one, but then Dutch would have had a major hissy fit. But Jose is saying he's got a bad feeling, and he's foreshadowing a disaster. That's foreshadowing a disaster. Um, now, I equipped uh, rifles, and I don't see them. Um, you lied. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Yeah, well, now, why can't I go back and get my guns? More than a the rifles, my shotgun. Scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. Can Morgan, I get my... Jester than a gun Can well, I get my, so my guns? Much. I equipped them and they unequipped them. But if we're going to be dealing with big gators, I will return... Horse cargo. Um, it's not gonna let me. Okay, I better get up there. It's gonna time out on me. So, <clears throat> it's not gonna let me bring the heavy hitters. Shit. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay it on would the not ground. let me do it. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Two dead bodies up there. Two, two axes. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. This is where we carry a body out of the swamp that was in the picture. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. 
search the traps. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Sure. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. <laughs> Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Keep an eye on the mini map. Close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Right on your six. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. <laughs> Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. This for reminds me of a story. Sometimes. I'll tell it later. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, we this just gets told better it. and better. <laughs> it's great. Uh, this is great. Whoa. Stop where you are. Holy it's cow. Gator. Just stay as still as you can. So the, he 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 won't see the lights. <laughs> oh, you know what? All right, let's uh, Arthur's moving. health is I got another stuff trap by the small island Crap. up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that I can't feed him. Boat. I'm trying to I think bring we up are the, all equally keen to find him. I was trying to bring up the thing so it could take a tonic. It won't let me bring up the wheel. It wouldn't let me bring high-powered. Weapons. Do not like this. Give a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. I'm, I'm going to end up carrying him out of here, according to the picture. <laughs> that was spooky. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. So we're going to sneak up on the backside of Bronte's place. Hold up. We are not loaded out for this. We got the wrong loadout for this. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into the jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. <laughs> okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this. I gotta tell you my story about that comes to mind from this real life story, but it can wait. I may have already told it, I don't know. Typical old man telling the same old stories over and over again, you know. I'm looking at the mini map, I'm looking for red dots, man. I know we're gonna get in a 
Hey, <laughs> bunch of trouble here. Jules. Hey! Someone there? Jules! No! Arthur has the best call out of anybody in the gang. Leather! Jules! Someone there? No. Hey. Someone there? No. Someone there? Over here! That must be him. Hello? Beckon Jules. I'm trying. How do I beckon him? Here! Help! I'm coming. On the other side of this big tree trunk. Jules, I'm holding down way. LT. Where are you, son? You up a tree? I, I'm, I mean, up, here. I, up. That's what I thought. Okay. Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Uh -huh. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked uh -huh. me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I don't see Jules. There he is. I ran. I... No. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. It wouldn't let me bring the cannons. The game would not let me bring the cannons. I got two six shooters. Yeah, I'm at the skiff, son. Got the scare! It's over here! It's stuck! Whoa, uh -huh. uh. this is so cool. Got it loose. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Life if only I had the boom boom right. boom let's stick. Get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Get up here, Dutch. Thank God. Am so, uh, I, am I, am I doing anything? Fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I am not steering. I thought I was going to be out here all night. I'm what not you in doing control of this. The tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. I'm trying Twice to steer. I can't. Too. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. We need a bigger yeah, I boat. We clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just do it. It won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. We've got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Uh, oh, Jules. Jules. Never get out of the boat. 
tools? Oh, 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 I told you. Can? No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, well. What? Go on, Arthur. I see you, Jules. I'm a coming. Common jewels. How did they bang way? Oh my god. Shit. Where'd he go?
I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gator. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. Woo! You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Oh, what is this? I wasn't looking at the prompt. There's still a lot of blood. Hold out the pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Got that? <laughs> what if it would have let me bring my shotgun? Come on. Finish that son of a bitch, Arthur. You're gonna be all right, dude. Just hold on. It's still coming. Dead eye, I must be out of it. He's coming right forward. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Come on. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Okay, kid. Ha! Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squealing. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules been bitten. Oh my God! There's a monster out here. He's been bitten. He's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you, both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. 
I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. <laughs> oh, my God. It won't let you take the, um, the high-powered weapons. Return jewels to the skiff within one minute and 40 seconds. Shoot the bull gator five times. We got silver on that. I, I looked behind me that first time and then um, screwed that up. And I didn't realize that Dutch was going to get eaten the second time. Oh, man. Uh, 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 well, let's look at the map. What do we get now? What are, where did he put us? They put us way over there. Oh. Uh -huh. Um. As usual, the game um gets my gets messes with my head. Um. We could go over to the fence, I guess, and and get rid of that five hundred dollar. That's a trapper. There is a fence here, though. Get rid of that $500 gold bar. Uh, we can check in on Charles while we're there. Holy manoli. Wow, I need a break, y'all. I do. Um, uh, so, um, um, I'll see you in a few minutes. That was a fun. Um, I need to, like, look at the old videos and see if I told that story uh, that this kind of reminded me of. But because I don't want to tell it again, I've already told it. I'll be back. All right, I'm, I'm back. I, now, if I've told this story, stop me. Um, and I, you know, um, I, I, I tell that to my boys all the time. My poor sons, you know, they have to endure me telling my my stories over and over again. I forget, you know. Anyway, um, what what reminded me of this is when he said something touched my leg. Uh, we were um, at Lake Diaz. Um, up there at the base of the high Sierras um, over there between, I think it's between Independence and uh, Bishop, uh, California. And right at the base of the high Sierras, uh, Lake Diaz, it's, uh, it's, I learned how to water ski there. I got up the very first time on the water skis, man. I did I did well. I, I got up just fine and um, it was doing great until the boat had to turn, you know, <laughs> to, to avoid hitting the shore. So the boat, the boat made a left, and I just kept going straight and wiped out. Anyway, that's not the story. Uh, so we're at Lake Diaz with a, a whole bunch of people, um, uh, quite a few groups, uh, to camp there and water ski and and enjoy the, you know, the outdoors there at Lake Diaz. It's a it's a great little uh, camp, uh, great little lake to camp at. Anyway, um, there's an aqueduct that runs along the base of the High Sierras. It goes all the way to L.A. for hundreds and hundreds of miles. It takes all the water from the Owens Valley there and the, and the, and the runoff and the melt from the, from the Sierras, the, the High Sierra Nevada mountain range there. And um, it takes all that water to Los Angeles and hundreds of miles. Anyway, you can see, you can see the aqueduct uh, from Lake Diaz. You can see it from the freeway, from the highway. There's a highway that goes up there. It's, I think, four, Highway 14. It turns into 395 or vice versa. Anyway, I mean, you can see it cut. It's like a cut, you know, across, all the way across the mountain range. And, it's, of course, it's downhill. Anyway, we decided, about four of us decided to go up there and uh, check out the aqueduct, you know, hike up to it. And, um, you know, it's about a, I don't know, mile hike, you know, and it's, you know, uphill. And we get up to the aqueduct, and you know, I'll, I'll try to keep this this short. And there's a, a, a dirt road, access road uh, for the uh, maintenance trucks to go on. And then there's the aqueduct, and the aqueduct is has concrete sides, and it's in a, in a V-shape, you know, like this. And there's concrete sides that come up on the top. And it's about oh I don't know, from the from the top of it and down to concrete sides. There's about uh, oh gosh maybe ten feet before you hit the water, and the water uh, is it doesn't look like it's real powerful like the current is real powerful. But we found out that current is really powerful, and it's really really deep. Um, it's that's got to be like twenty thirty feet deep at that at that point but you it doesn't look like it you know and the water's all green like it is it was in this swamp and the, and it's flowing downhill going 
like I said, hundreds and hundreds of miles to Los Angeles. And um, we decided to jump in. <laughs> I don't know why. And, of course, we didn't want our clothes to get all wet, so we took our clothes off. So there's four boys up there naked. <laughs> and we jump into the aqueduct naked. And we hung our clothes over the over the side, over the, the, the concrete side, so that we'd know where our clothes were. We just figured we'd go down a ways and then come back up and get back to our clothes. And... Uh, <laughs> Now, we were all athletes in good shape, so you know I, I do not recommend doing this. Don't don't do this. Just don't jump in the the, the aqueduct uh, up there, the, the LA aqueduct. Don't do it. Uh, it. We we jump in, and right away found out how strong the current was, and oh man! And we were trying to see. I was trying to see if I could touch the bottom of that, and we were having a blast, you know, but you can't see when you, when you dive down, because it's just all green and murky like that, and like you see all kinds of little grainy things in the water, you know, and so, uh, <laughs> but then it was like, uh, man, I felt something touch my leg, what, what touched my, yeah, me too, something touched my leg, <laughs> you know, what, what's like, what touched my leg, you know, it just like that's right there, you know, and it was weird, but we were, we we're having a ball, man, and the current's just washed, just taking us down, you know, uh, faster than we thought, and we figured, oh, man, we need to get out, and we didn't take into account the concrete sides, uh, we couldn't get a grip, so we're trying, so here we are grabbing on, you know, to the concrete wall, you know, we got to go up about, it's about, oh, I don't know, eight to ten feet up to the top there, but we couldn't hold on, the current was so hard, so strong, it was pulling our legs downstream, and our, our hands are upstream, you know, we're trying, and we're, we're holding on and trying to, trying to get a grip, but we couldn't, because the concrete was so smooth, and we're like, and now we're starting to panic a little bit, you know, like, oh my gosh, we can't get out of this thing, you know, and we kept struggling and struggling, and finally we got uh, to a port, part where the concrete was a little roughed up, and I was able to get a grip, and I was able to struggle and climb out, I, so I climb out, and then one of my other buddies managed to get out, there's still two of us in there, in the water, so we're running down, down the stream to them, you know, trying to, you know, uh, help, help them get out, and, and, um, uh, one of them managed to get out, but there's still a fourth one, and so we run way up ahead of him, you know, and, you know, we're, we're getting out of breath now, you know, tired, because we were fighting the current and everything, and uh, anyway, get down there and, and hang over the edge, you know, so we're holding on to the top of the edge, the top edge of the, the concrete wall going down there, and hanging our legs down so he could grab on, you know, and he managed to grab onto uh, one of our legs. I, I don't think it was mine. It was one of the other ones, and, and, and he pulled out. So now all four of us are out, and we're sitting there naked <laughs> as the day we were born and out of breath, you know. Uh, it's tired, you know, just, oh, man, gosh, we made it, you know. We were thinking, man, if we don't get out of this thing, we're going to we're gonna float all the way to Los Angeles. Anyway, uh <laughs> Uh, we're sitting there and all of a sudden, uh, uh, my buddy sitting next to me goes, you've got a leech on you. And I'm, what? And I'm looking, there's a leech on my shoulder, man. Yeah. You know, get it off, get it off. Uh, and, and there's, oh, you've got him on you too. Oh, you do too. You do too. We all had leeches, leeches on us on our legs, on our backs, you know, now they didn't have time to really dig in and bite and start sucking blood or anything like that, so it was, it was, it was easy to, to scrape them off or pick them off, you know, get them off my back, get them off, you know, picking them off the back, and uh, it wasn't like, like, like we were covered in leeches, but we had, we both, all of us had probably a dozen of them on us, you know, if we get the leeches picked off, it was not, it was freaky, uh, we were freaked out, you know, oh my God, you know, I'm feeling all, yeah, you know. So now uh, we had to run upstream, oh gosh, uh, probably three quarters of a mile to get to our clothes, <laughs> which we do. We put our clothes on, and the view from up there looking down at Lake Diaz, because this was right at, um, at dusk, you know, the sun's going down now, 
and so you could see the campfires all around the lake and the, the trees and everything. It was absolutely beautiful view, but we're walking down there, and we're all feeling like, Ugh, you know, like, oh, my gosh. And then, and then uh, one of the guys says, we don't tell anybody about this. We don't tell anybody. This stays right here with the four of us. You know, for one thing, it's illegal to do what we did. And But the, the reason that he gave was because he said, because, Ain't no girls going to want to date us if they found out we if they found out we got leeches on us, you know. No girls going to go out with us, man. And so then and that was funny. We laughed about that. But then the the the, the one of the guys, I don't remember which one of my buddies said this. He, oh, man, he didn't have to say this. He goes, "What if we didn't get them all?" What if one like crawled up, you know, inside our butt? <laughs> <laughs> so we're all like, what? Oh my God. So now, you know, you know, well, I ain't going to look at your butthole to see if there's a leech there. You got to check it for yourself, man. And uh, so for a week after that, man, I had, uh, I, I was worried. I was like, man, what if a leech crawled up inside me and is having, you know, laying eggs or something, you know? Anyway, that's that story. Uh, I, I don't know if I told that before. Anyway, uh, I've decided I'm not going to, I'm just going to hang on to that gold bar. Uh, I, and I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Um, I think, I think we just go back to camp, man. Um, uh, and, and maybe end the episode. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, that was fun, though. That, that was fun. And now I want to know, was that a legendary alligator? And do we have an, a legendary alligator um, um, location here? Am I camping right where all that happened? Or did, did they put my camp further away from it? Uh, where's Le Gras? Um, that's, where's Le Gras? Uh, it's way up here. Oh, oh my gosh, there's Dutch. Dutch wants us to come back up here. Um... Let's go back up here and talk to Dutch. The the crazy thing about that, so it all happened up here. Did we get a legendary alligator mark now? Is this where all that happened? I mean, that has to be like an, a legendary alligator, but it's not indicating that. It just gives us all. Is this the islands and everything that we were doing that around, or was that over here? I don't know. Uh, we'll head for Dutch. Um, holy, I should, I didn't tear down the camp. RB, ground. RB, campfire. Tear down camp, please. We're not feeding him. He doesn't look fat. How's that doing, by the way? What's our, um, what's our honor look like? Not good. All right, we need to get it back up there. Um, but doing this stuff with the uh, Dutch isn't going to do Come that, on, girl. is it? You done good, girl. That was fun, though. Yeah. nice I'm just trying to I'm faking it to get my honor up fake it till you make it oh you know what so up now old son needs to eat uh, um we'll save that for emergencies uh let's just eat a regular one there we go Um, 
And this was the thing, man. It would not let me equip the powerful guns. Right? I mean, they make they make you go into that with just your pistols. All right, let's not, let's not yep. uh, get sidetracked. Um, so I'm going to assume here that this will be like, this is like a two-parter kind of mission. Hold on. Let's, let's look at it and see what the picture looks like. Looks like, oh man, Thomas agreed to row the gang in quietly to the back of Bronte's mansion so you can pay him a social call. Revenge is a dish best eaten. Well, that's not how that saying goes, but all right. All right, and let me keep my guns this time. And it looks like we're gonna get into a firefight. <sighs> so, Dutch, what's the heaty like anyhow? All the gang's all here. here. But I hear oh, wow. Terrible. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look Orchard. how that turned out. There you are. Come on. Bill? Who else? Thomas. Let's get going. Right you John. Uh. Yeah, so this is a two-parter. They should have um, they should have just let us know that because I might not <laughs> hey, have Bill, done this. I you were a sharpshooter I mean, in the I cavalry, have... weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but... Is, is Dutch part a Native American Indian? Because he always gets his feathers rustled whenever anybody um, says anything negative like that, like Bill just did. I wonder if he's got a Native American blood in him. Your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. I had an alligator creeping up behind us, too. Okie dokie. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Am I supposed to go to the yellow spots? What am I supposed to do? Give me a clue. There's a clue. Jump the wall. Not giving any prompts. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Huh? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. I'll follow you, John. Uh, no. Yes. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, wow, we're just going to go in guns blazing. You know what's about to hit the fan. You see those two? Stay out of sight.
I'm behind the bang, bang. I gotta get to where I can shoot. I guess we stay down here. Let's go. Oh. Wait a minute, what's it loaded with? Express, what's this loaded with? Um, crap. Um. Come on! Dang it, no! Dang it! Me and Buttons. I'm trying to get... Yeah, we'll go incendiary. Well, let's go slugs on them. And I can I need to stay down here obviously. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Quick, before we lose Bronte. We got more inside. Double barrel shotgun is nasty.
Dang, don't have any good food? Crap. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Upstairs? What is all this? What is all these yellow? Um, I don't get it. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. is upstairs Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... <coughs> Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Well, wait a minute. I want to loot him first. You ain't touching him after you just... I think Dutch wants to have Sock him on. Chat. I can't loot him now. Uh, we, got a, we got another yeller. Oh, the yellow is Dutch, right? Ah, uh, he's downstairs. Are you gonna... John, I need you to uh, cover me on this. Do I get to drop this guy? Can I drop it? Front. Bill. Bill. 
from where I'm sitting. You're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. That ain't gonna work. What are you gonna say now? <laughs> they are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so no, right. No, they are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth! has got to be disposed of! Oh, Our friends of oh. the are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Call them now! You call them! Philosophy books cover feeding the fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Wow. Well, I do. It ain't wow. nice. I yeah. know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. This, this is, wow. Okay, I'll shut up. Oof. I didn't get any of this done. But that'll be on a on a replay later. Uh, now I won't record it, I mean personally for me. Wow, so they're low on supplies on food. Um let's donate them some food. Wow. Ah, uh, that was that was exciting and really cool. I'll get my thoughts together uh, uh, later. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Yeah, I'm on a diet, so you can have it. Good job, Arthur. Very good. We were getting low. I'll give you some more. Good. We really needed this. Oof. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Tilly. Excuse me, I'm still done. I reckon that was me. And I can't say hi. No, you cannot eat, sir. Good morning, Arthur. I'm on a diet or I'd have breakfast Forgive with me, you. Miss Grimshaw. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I morning, think before Mr. we Morgan. go any further, I'll just, um... 
I want to go up there and, and replenish things, but I don't want to. I don't want to trip off the next one right now. I need to rest actually and 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 absorb everything that happened. Um, Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. So, will it let me uh, save at this point? It will. I got to delete all those other saves, man. I got a bunch of them. Revenge is the best. I just bet that's that one's the only one I'll keep. I'll just, uh, all of these can be deleted. I think these are all auto saves that the game's been doing, and I haven't been um, maintaining them. Anyway, that's going to do it uh, for this episode. Uh, I, it was a blast. I'll tell you what. Um, it was fun. Uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one. I got a, a lot to absorb and digest here. But that that was, this is great. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed all that. I hope you did. Once again, take care. And we'll see you on the flip side. Oh, hold it. Before I go, uh, uh, let me look at the map. And so I can uh, remind myself what we're going to be doing for the next episode. Or things to do. We don't have much. Uh, we do have Dutch. We do have, we have a big old bounty on our heads. Uh, we've got a, a, a bounty hunting we can do, and we have our artist friend over here. We had a couple other white missions uh, show up over here and disappear. They'll probably come on back. Anyway, I just wanted to check that for my own self so I can look at this before I, I start the next episode and know where the heck I left off. So goodbye for real this time. Take care. I'll see you next time.